वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे वी विल कवर मार्बल एंड एक्स थ्री दैट इज प्रिवेंशन ऑफ पॉल्यूशन बाय हार्मफुल सब्सटेंस कैरिड बाय सी इन पैकेज फॉर्म व्हिच एंटर्ड इनटू द फोर्स ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई 1992 सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड एनएक्स थ्री इनटू सिक्स सेक्शन फर्स्ट वाई आईएमडीजी सेकंड वॉल्यूम वन ऑफ आईएमडीजी थर्ड वॉल्यूम टू द सप्लीमेंट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आईएमडीजी and what are the discharge criteria of nx3 so let's start without further delay the regulation of this nx apply to all ship carrying harmful substance in packaged form so what is harmful substance harmful substance are those substance which are identified as marine pollutant in the international maritime dangerous goods code that is the imdg code and what is packaged form packaged form is defined as the form of containment specified for harmful substance in the imdg code the carriage of harmful substance is prohibited except in accordance with the provisions of this annex empty packagings which have been used previously for the carriage of harmful substance shall themselves be treated as harmful substance unless adequate precautions have been taken to ensure that they contain no residue that is harmful to the marine environment the requirements of this annex do not apply to ship store and equipment so the equipment and the store are not included under the annex 3 So now let's have a look to the IMDG code. The IMDG code is divided into three part: the volume one, the volume two, and the supplement. You can see the latest edition. This is how the IMDG code, the 2020 edition, looks like. Let's move on to the another question: Why IMDG? The International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, 1974, SOLAS, as amended, deals with various aspects of maritime safety and contents in Chapter Seven. the mandatory provisions governing the carriage of dangerous goods in packaged form the carriage of dangerous goods in packaged form shall comply with the relevant provisions of the international maritime dangerous good imdg code which is considered and extension to the provisions of solas chapter 7 so this mean the imdg code is mandatory under chapter 7 of solas for every ship carrying dangerous goods in packaged form Furthermore the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ship 1973 as modified by the Protocol of 1978 relating there to MARPOL which contains in its annex 3 mandatory provisions for the prevention of pollution by harmful substance carried by sea in packaged form prohibits the carriage of harmful substance in ship except in accordance with the provisions of MARPOL annex 3 which is also extended in IMDG code so this means the IMDG code is not only mandatory under solas chapter 7 it is also mandatory under annex 3 of marpol so let's have a look what volume 1 contains so volume 1 includes the following chapters the part 1 general provisions definitions and trainings the part 2 classifications of the dangerous goods the part 4 packing and tank provisions the part 5 consignment procedures part 6 provisions for the construction and testing of pressure receptacles aerosol dispenser small receptacles containing gases gas cartridges and fuel cell cartridges containing liquefied flammable gases part 7 requirements on transport operations you can pause the video and have a look how the dangerous goods are classified and these are the symbols so now let's see what volume 2 contains the volume 2 includes the following parts the part 3 dangerous goods list specific provisions for limited and accepted quantities exceptions the appendix a list of generic and nos not otherwise specified proper shipping names appendix b glossary of terms so now let's see what supplement contains the imdg code supplement includes additional provisions that are related to sea transport these provisions includes emergency response procedure for ships carrying dangerous goods medical first aid guide reporting procedures imo ilo ece guidelines for packing cargo transport units safe use of pesticides in ships cargo holds and ctus international code for the carriage of packaged irradiated nuclear fuels plutonium and high level radioactive waste on board a ship So now let's see what are the objective of IMDG. The IMDG code was developed as an international code for the maritime transport of dangerous goods in packaged form in order to enhance and harmonize the safe carriage of dangerous goods and to prevent pollution to the environment. The code sets out in detail the requirement applicable to each individual substance, material or articles covering materials such as packing, container traffic and stowage with particular reference to the segregation of incompatible substances. So now let's see what annex 3 says about discharge criteria. According to annex 3 under any circumstances the harmful substance cannot be discharged into the sea except where necessary for the purpose of securing the safety of the ship or saving life at sea. Not only this annex 3 also adds appropriate measures based on the physical chemical and biological properties of harmful substance shall be taken to regulate the washing of leakage overboard provide the compliance with such measures would not impair the safety of the ship 
and persons on board. So with this guys, we are done with the NX3. Hope you liked the video. Do subscribe the channel and if you want these notes and other maritime related books, you can join our telegram channel. Link is given in the description. Over there, you can also ask your personal doubts and also share this video with your maritime aspirant friends. Until then, see ya.